such confusion when we find no ground to stand on, when we know not who and where we are. The old culture divides and discourages us through tribal and religious beliefs and attempts to deaden us further each day through the constant drone of propaganda and fear. It insists on an egocentric view of life. And yet the alternative exists, as it always has. It's the simple recognition that we are all here together in life. Life is playing out all of the time, everywhere at once. It is the recognition of reality, of who and where we are, here now, rather than the illusion that we are but an isolated cacophony of thoughts, feelings, and beliefs. Beliefs we were taught as youngsters. That's the ego's version, the old dying version of who we are. And it's dying because it's a false picture. In truth, the time is always now. The answer is always love. We are but localized awareness, bathed in breathing bodies as we soldier forward together into greater levels of awareness. Must we fear because the body will someday fail? Must we ruin our common moment together with violence, abuse, and kleptocracy? Or can we find the space, already here, where we share life? As we move from ego to awareness, we indeed recognize this space and far more. The stillness, the presence, the open heart, they exist only here as well. But what of our cruel and corrupt world? What of all our suffering brothers and sisters? Indeed, a vast challenge of this great transition. But we help them not at all by contributing our own fears. We help our sisters and brothers as we find our way beyond the veil, beyond the ego, to our home here in life. Here, we all stand on common ground, bathing in awareness. Even as horrific events transpire across a broken planet, we hold our ground, our peace, and our love. We use our intent to let our hearts shine with forgiveness and gratitude, letting go and letting love lead us. We trust this life together and our experiences, for there is no place else for us to be. Indeed, there is no other place we can be. Each day, more and more of us find our true selves. Each moment, more and more of us recognize the truth. Right now, someone is rejecting hate and learning to let go of fear. Right now, someone is helping a stranger they would have ignored in the past. And right now, someone is choosing not to pull the trigger, not to steer the drone or drop the bomb. We are awakening. If you believe the corporate media hype, we have little hope for a better day. They choose the false god of money instead of the true god of awareness. A new cultural operating system is already emerging. We see it in localism and the organic food movement. We see it in renewable energy. We see it in Occupy and Arab Spring and Black Lives Matter and how younger folk today inherently reject the bias and hate of previous generations. We see it in Bernie Sanders. We see it in the rejection of old cultural ideals as we look toward a new culture of healing and love. We call this new operating system World 5.0. We're leaving the abominable, corrupt, and broken World 4 culture behind. We are awakening and finding each other and joining together for a new day. In doing so, we are finding heaven on earth.